Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. Isn't that cool? So previously, we saw what density is. Density is nothing but the amount of mass in a given volume. I have linked the video up here and in the description box as well. In today's video, we are going to see whether temperature affects density. Well, the answer is yes, it does. Here's a simple analogy to understand what happens under temperature changes. Take a plate and add some salt in it. Now start vibrating and shaking the plate. You'll notice that the salt spreads all over it. This is exactly what happens under high temperatures. When we increase the temperature, the molecules start gaining kinetic energy. This is nothing but the energy a molecule possesses while in motion. Because of the increase in energy, these molecules get excited and spread all over the place. Earlier, the same amount of volume had a higher concentration of salt, but now it has a lower concentration, for the mass in the same volume decreases and therefore density decreases with an increase in temperature. On the other hand, when the temperature decreases, the molecules also feel very cold they start attracting each other and so the mass in the same amount of volume increases. So the density increases with a decrease in temperature. You can use this property to make this density tower of hot and cold water. Because of its lower density, the hot water tries to float on top of the cold water. But in your last video on density, didn't you say that water expands when frozen? And that's why ice is less denser than water? That is absolutely correct. I did say that. Before we see why water behaves so differently, why don't you go and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Turns out water is very special. The molecular formula of water is H2O. It has two hydrogen atoms bonding with one oxygen atom. The hydrogen atoms are positive while the oxygen atom is negative. Because water is in a liquid state and it is very flowy, these molecules keep attracting each other because of the difference in charges. These molecules are constantly moving and the positive hydrogen atoms try to stick to the negative oxygen atoms. But when water freezes, these molecules try to arrange themselves in an organized crystal. This crystal has a lot of gaps in the middle and this is why the molecules spread further apart and ice becomes less dense. Usually, when temperature decreases, the density increases. But this very interesting property of water molecules wanting to form crystals of a very unique shape with gaps in the middle makes ice less denser than water. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week.